Man, this coffee is right on! It's cold, it's rainy, it's more cold, it's even more rainy. I mean, this is just perfect weather to stay indoors and... <laughs> We're not going to go... This is a family show. I'm not live right now, so I can talk like this, right? But anyway, got my coffee working right now, uh, getting ready to go live. And, of course, at 9 o'clock this morning, we're going to put the air, uh, the spotlight on the year 1984. Well, anyways, I'm not playing around, man. My coffee right now is kaboom. There we go. Anyway, good morning, John. I'm going to answer Santa Barbara, California's very own Mr. Pepe Marquez. How you doing, brother? Uh, let me see here. I'm going to make sure I got everything lined up. I think we're good to go. Right now playing the City View Band, Esa Mujer. Um, <clears throat> you know, yesterday for dinner, you're not going to believe this, but I had hot dogs again. I never have hot dogs twice, but this time I made it differently. Uh, two days ago, I made hot dogs with chili and relish and mustard, but yesterday I made them differently. I put some uh, baby rays barbecue sauce on them and they were excellent man and i was lazy too so i didn't feel like cooking so a couple of hot dogs will take care of it and that's very very true anyways um you know i'm having uh what the hell what's going on here uh, uh <laughs> anyways it's like get all these messages dude hey man <laughs> if only you knew <laughs> anyways let's see here where am i at let's go live um, wait, well, yeah, Pepe, listen, um, uh, since me and you are on here right now, you know, taking care of business, whatever. Hey, dude, I can't tell you how many people, you remember when we were talking about doing my anniversary thing, and, um, we had kind of scheduled, set you up to come down here and do your thing? A lot of people, they told me, it was really no surprise, Robert, we knew that you were going to bring Pepe down here, and you were going to come down here, and I go, how did you know that? We just knew, man, you just knew that you were going to bring Pepe over here, and it would have been awesome, man, but then this COVID ruined everything, like everything else, right? Uh, where are we at? 10 seconds. Ow! We got to go live. Here we go. There we go. The City View Band. Essa Mujer. Good morning, Double Out Radio. Live on Facebook right now. Stop by and say hello, and I'll say hello back. And all that other good stuff. Good morning, Chad. I got up to Mr. Pepe Marquez, Santa Barbara, California, and La Casa. Also, uh, J.M. Mendoza. Good morning. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. Stretch run towards the weekend, no doubt. And Valentine's weekend. Of course, do not forget to join me this coming Sunday evening. My Cruising Classic show from 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, which uh, will be a special Valentine's evening cruising classic show. Now, if this doesn't get you lucky, nothing will. There you have it. So, and what comes to words, if you got your loved one, your husband, your wife, whatever the case may be, you can just kind of kick back, relax, enjoy a glass of wine, a cold beer, and let me do all the work for you all, all right? Get you all in the mood. Valentine's evening, join me for the cruising classic show. Huh? Will I be playing some Pepe Marquez? Of course I will. No doubt about it, man. His songs are on my playlist. Good morning, Jedi. Good morning, America Munoz. Good morning. I love saying good morning, America. There we go. Anyways, just, uh, uh, let's see here. Where are we at? What do I got to talk about? Uh, let me go back over here. We'll be good to go. Good morning, Chad. I got out to Seguin, Texas. And like I said, Star Ray is good morning, Star. How we doing? Anyways, uh, Seguin, Texas, by the way, is about 30 miles, give or take, right outside of San Antonio. And uh, that's also a party town. It really, really is. Let's see what's going on out here. There we go. Check this out. Crazy story. Students at a Utah school were allowed to opt out of Black History Month. You know, I can respect, you know, Black History Month on TV, documentaries, whatever. You're on your time. You do whatever you need to do. But to me, for students to be given um, the option to opt out of Black History Month to learn some things about black history, that's wrong. It, it really is, man. I'm not joking around about any of That's wrong. You know, now, you know, hey, if they're going to start doing that, well, let's opt out of English, let's opt out of American history. Let's opt out of chemistry. Really, man. You know, I'll never forget one time in high school, I told this girl, hey, hey, um, don't I have you in my uh, Spanish class? No, you don't. Um, and I told her, well, maybe we should, because if you're not in my Spanish class, maybe we should be in my other class. She told me, what class is that, Robert? Uh, chemistry, because me and you seem to have it. Uh, did anything happen? No. She walked off. There you go. <laughs> Obviously, there was no chemistry there. Um, also, check this out. A Japanese man offered himself on eBay saying, you can rent me for $100 an hour. 
Now, he put no details on there. He just said that he can be rented for $100 an hour. Well, I mean, um, the yard needs to be cut. The, the, the leaves need to be raked. He got to go up on the palm trees and trim the palm trees. That might be an idea. I don't know what his mentality is, but I'll tell him right now, I'm going to put his ass to work. That's what I'm going to do. Anyways, just a good morning. Shout out, good night. Martha Salas. Good morning, Martha. How are we doing? There we go. Speaking of California. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Also, Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez, Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. Good morning. Uh, let's see here what else is going on. Now, check this out. Uh, astronaut. John Young, I don't remember this guy, but obviously he was an astronaut. Now, this is the first astronaut, mind you, he already passed away. But you know when things come out about a person when they pass away? Well, astronaut John Young is the first astronaut to have ever been yelled at by all the people, all the staff at NASA. Why? Because when they went up into space, he snuck into his little, little case kind of a thing, a sandwich. Obviously, he didn't like the food up there, so he took his own sandwich, and there you go. Now, if I were to be an astronaut, you know, and I were to go up there, I'd sneak some fajitas, maybe <laughs> maybe some guacamole, man, go to margarita action or whatever. Um, actually, it's the, um, I used to have a deal. This is all true. I'm not joking around. I don't joke around when I talk about NASA and astronauts, but I used to have a deal that used to work at NASA. You know, right there in Houston? Yeah, Houston, Texas, NASA, my deal. Worked, worked, worked at NASA, but uh, they fired him. They fired my deal, and I told him, "Deal, what happened, deal? Why did they fire you?" He goes, "No, sir, I, I don't know, Roberto. I don't know, but they just told me that I was doing something very wrong." And I said, "What's that, deal? What were you doing wrong?" He said, "Well, I, I, I got confused." I said, "Well, how did you get confused, deal?" He said, "Well, at NASA, every time they say launch, I'd go and eat." I go, "No, deal, no, deal." Launch meant that the rocket was taking off, Tio. No, no, it didn't mean that it was launch time. No, 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 Tio. Lunch and launch. Those are two different things, Tio. But I got confused, me going. They said, you know, we have launch. And I said, but where is it? Where is it? I tengo hambre. Quiero comer. Where's, what, what do you have, launch? And, uh, well, they fired him for that. And there you go. Anyways, we'll move on from there. There we go. Um, <laughs> I see some of the craziest things on here, man. Where am I at? Let me go back over here. There we go. We'll go back over here. Uh, I had something here. Uh, there, 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 there. Uh, there we go. This is the one I wanted. It's the, um, let me see here. Don't want to miss anybody. Good morning, Jada Ganata. Deborah Camarillo. Double R Radio sponsor Deborah Camarillo. Anaheim, California. California in the house. There we go. Simply love it. I really, really do. Now, check this out. Another crazy story. A Florida attorney has been disbarred. For making porn films in jail. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, the lawyer claimed to be going and seeing his client in jail. But while he was in there, he pulled out the old camera and started doing some porn stuff and whatever. We have some weird lawyers out there. We really, really do. Now, there was a lawyer. I'm not going to mention any names here in San Antonio. That was just disbarred and he went to jail for charging his clients instead of money, sexual favors. Isn't that crazy for a lawyer to say uh, when a girl tells him, how much is it going to be, sir? Uh, nothing, just a couple of sexual favors and we'll be good to go. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Wow. You know that's going to catch up to you. Ow. Oh. Now, uh, let me see here. Don't want to miss anybody here. Here we go. We're doing good to go. Good morning, Jedi. Good night to Primo. Roger Rivas, Double R Radio Sponsor, Mission City, Hot Shot Delivery Services. Good morning, Primo. How much time do I have? I'm good to go. Now, check out this uh, silly, crazy story. A man died while watching TV in his living room, and nobody could figure out why. Uh, the, un the unfortunate part was that the man had one of these electronic cardio devices on his heart that was plugged into the wall. Okay, well, uh, his teenage son didn't realize this. He unplugged it so he could plug in his phone charger. <laughs> so the man died because they unplugged his heart. How tough is that, man? That, <laughs> that poor guy, he was going, go, Spurs, go, go. And that was the end of that. Meanwhile, his son was charging his phone. One got uncharged and one got charged. There you go. Uh, the son was quoted as saying, 
priorities are priorities. Sorry, Dad. And there you go. That is, <laughs> that is crazy, man. I've never heard of that. I never knew there were electronic hearts out there. Anyways, um, I really don't have anything else here, man. I don't have nothing to talk about. Let's talk about the cold weather. You know, um... Let's get back over here. We're good to go there. There we go. You know that, uh, let me see here, we got, I'm hitting buttons all over the place. You know this cold weather, really, man. Uh, I know we're in February right now. We're in the second week of February, but I um, mean, this cold weather does not leave the San Antonio area, South Texas, till about late March, early April. So this stuff doesn't really surprise me. What surprises me is that for the past two or three years, every year we've been getting snowflakes. Or a little bit of snow, etc. Now this weekend, Sunday slash Monday, we're expecting some pretty good amount of snow to come down here in San Antonio. So, um, am I excited about that? As long as the electricity stays on, I'm good to go. And this is true, man. A couple of years ago, we had a—I'm not going to call it a snowstorm, but we had a good amount of snow that came down. I'll never forget this. It was on like a Thursday evening, and it started snowing pretty heavily, right? And I was like, it's beautiful! This is awesome! And then 10 minutes later, the lights went out. All of my complex was out! All of a sudden, that snow wasn't beautiful anymore. I'm not lying to you, man. <laughs> we didn't have electricity here for 24 hours. And let me tell you, man, when it's like 20 degrees outside and you have no electricity, which means you have no heat, now you can't charge your phone. You got no Wi-Fi. You got nothing. Now, um, I said I'm going to kill some time, and I'm going to go ahead and go to Chili's and get drunk, and I'll come back, and I'll go to sleep, and I won't feel the cold. But I got to tell you, man, I woke up around 3 o'clock in the morning, and it was freaking cold in here, man. <laughs> I'm not lying, man. It was super. And then you had no lights. There was nothing in here. I tried lighting a candle, but I couldn't find one. So then, now I had to get dressed, put on a shirt. Mind you, it's all dark. By the time I dressed myself with whatever I put on, I had my shirt on backwards. I had my pants on backwards. I had one sock on, one shoe, one platform shoe. I mean, it was terrible. I mean, it, one of the hardest things to do is get dressed in the dark. It really, really is, man. But... That's part of what I had to deal with when it snowed a couple of years ago. So that's why I'm saying if it decides to snow this weekend, I'm okay with that. As long as the electricity stays on, we are good to go. Now, on a side note, on a really, really sad side note, um, when I got back home from the day and I still didn't have electricity, um, I happened to notice that there was a squirrel, a frozen squirrel that had died in my parking space because I got a parking space outside. This is all true, man. This makes me sad. I was coming back from doing whatever I had to do, and I was getting ready to pull into my parking space. All true. And I said, what's that? What's that in my parking space? There's something right there. What the heck's that right there? And so I stopped my car right in front of my parking space to see what it was. And uh, let me see here. I don't want to miss anybody here. And we're good to go. We're good to go. Good morning, Jedi. Going out to Double O Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez, Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning. to been going out to Rosemary Romero. Good morning. So anyways, um, I opened up my car door, and I went and looked at the parking space. And it was a frozen, dead squirrel. And I said, pobrecito. Pobrecito. And even worse, he died with his frozen nuts in his hand. I said, pobrecito, Mr. Squirrel, pobrecito, man. I mean, I guess he knew what priorities were. He was really trying to keep his nuts warm, but um, obviously it didn't work. So I looked at him for about five seconds, and I got him by the cola, and I threw him in the dumpster. There you go. I said, che, squirrel, cabrón, don't ever try to take my parking space like that again. Being che, squirrel. Anyways, let's keep it going. Let's do something by La Mafia. Good morning, Double R Radio. There we go. Anyway, Thursday morning it is. We're gearing up. What time is it? Oh, it's 9 o'clock. Got to do it. Time to put the spotlight on the year 1984. Let's do it now. I still got about five minutes to do this. So look, I better get busy here. Join me right now. RobertWeavesRadio.com. Simple. RobertWeavesRadio.com. Just click on that media player button. It's all free. Let's go back to the year 1984. Orale. 